today. We've uh, come out with one of my mates, Sharky, from Carnival here. I've known Sharky for some time. He's a mad keen local fisherman. We're in the barra closure at the moment, so we thought, hey, let's come out and have a look what the finger mark are up to. I haven't fished for them for about six months or more in the channel. It's getting towards the time of year where they should be starting to hot up a little bit and forage around. So we'll head out today and see what we can find. It's lovely wandering around these flats. It's amazing what you'll see sometimes. Big GTs and queenies bashing garfish out wider. But you've got to be a little bit careful. Watch out for stingrays. And in certain areas where it's a little bit murky, always keep an eye for the crocodiles. Got a nice little school of mullet. A little bit bigger than I really wanted. I like them a bit smaller for finger mark, but they'll do. I've certainly caught some good finger mark on some bigger size mullet before. The thing I love about finger mark is I guess they're equivalent to what our southerners brand as the snapper. It's a very popular sport fish. They grow pretty big, they pull hard, they just look good, and the most of all, they taste great. We've tried the vibes first up. A few little nanny guy, but I think this is our first real fish that we're after. Looked like there was some trevally and finger mark just sitting up current of this little structure. It might be a trevally, this one. He's starting to resemble a trevally more now. Got a bit of bait underneath us there on the sounder. Hopefully, uh, we'll get a little bit of life out of this first spot. There he goes. Just coming back around on us. Uh, there's so many opportunities in the closed barra season. Doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's uh, not a barra. <laughs> Little one around about three kilos, I think. Just enough to get the blood pumping. There he is. Oh, come on, out you come. Oh, no. Too good. The joys of fishing structure means you become a good knot tire over time. Yep. I think this is a different one. This is, might be a finger mark. Slightly different flight than the Trevally. Uh, Trevally's get a real head knock and a real tail beat to their action. I mean, so do finger mark too. A lot of Legianids will get on their side and struggle like that too. So sometimes it can be confusing, but uh, it's the way they turn is a lot different than the Trevally. And their runs are, sometimes they have a few more bursts rather than just a constant slugging it out kind of thing. Although this one is starting to slug it out. Number two. Sharky's the only one that's got a finger mark so far and I'll keep playing with these things. That's a little bit different mate, isn't it? Yeah. Not that little nanny guy you had before. They were giving us a bit of a hard time for a while. This is something, whoop, this one's on too. <laughs> Well, we can only hope that they're finger mark, mate. Yeah, didn't quite see the colour then. This one's a little bit better. That's a chopper. Nice one. Beautiful. Nice. Lovely. Nice little fish. Good start. Well, I don't know. I reckon I might have beat you, Sharky. That's a cracker. Nice size fish. That's the size we're after. We're only about that 65 odd centimetres. Nice chopper. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video and you want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Insta, and if you want some special tips that I only send out by email only, head on over to our website www.rhymedyfishing.com and sign up for free training and email updates. Get into the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter, and we'll see you next time.